Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. In this video, we will learn about the clamper circuit. A clamper circuit changes the DC level of the signal to the desired level, and at the same time, it does not change the shape of the waveform. So, as you can see over here, in this diagram, this clamper circuit shifts the entire waveform upwards, or we can say that this clamper circuit shifts the entire waveform towards the positive side. So this type of clamper circuit is known as the positive clamper circuit. Similarly, if the clamper circuit shifts the DC level towards the negative side, then such clamper circuit is known as the negative clamper circuit. And this clamper circuit can be designed using the diode, resistor and the capacitor. And many times, to shift the DC level to the desired voltage, the reference level or the biasing voltage is also added with this clamper circuit. So, this clamper circuit can be classified broadly in a three categories. The positive clamper circuit, the negative clamper circuit and the clamper circuit with the biasing voltage. So, in this video, one by one we will see all the three types of clamper circuit. But first of all, let us talk about the positive clamper circuit. So, this circuit which is shown over here is the example of the positive clamper circuit. Now, in general, any type of waveform can be applied to this clamper circuit. But here, we will analyze this circuit by applying a sine wave to this circuit. So, let's say a sine wave with a peak value of Vm is applied to this clamper circuit. So, at the output, this entire waveform will get shifted by a DC value of Vm. So, let us analyze this circuit and let us find out how we will get this type of waveform. But before we do that, here we are assuming that the RC time constant of the circuit is very large. So, if T is the time period of the signal, then the RC time constant of the circuit should be much larger than this time period. Or in general, it should be at least 10 times more than the time period of the signal. Alright, so considering this assumption, let us analyze this circuit. So, during this positive half cycle, this diode will act as a open circuit because the voltage at the cathode is more than the anode. So, considering the ideal diode, it will act as a open circuit. So, during the positive half cycle, this capacitor will get charged through this path. But considering the RC time constant is very large than the time period, during the positive half cycle, it will not be able to charge to the peak value. And we can assume that during the positive half cycle, the output will follow the input signal. So, during the positive half cycle, you will get this type of waveform. Now, during the negative half cycle, the polarity of the input voltage will get reversed. So, now this diode will act as a short circuit. And effectively, this resistor RA will also get short circuited. So, during this negative half cycle, this capacitor will get charged through this path. And it will get charged to the peak value of Vm. And during the negative half cycle, if you see the output, then up to this point, it will be equal to 0. And during that time, the capacitor will get charged to the peak value of Vm. Now, after this point, if you see the voltage across the diode, it will be equal to V in plus Vm. So, this is the voltage which will appear between these two terminals. Now, after this point, as the Vin is going from minus Vm to 0 volt, so this voltage will be always greater than 0. So, due to that, now the cathode of the diode is more positive than the anode. That means, after this point, this diode will act as a open circuit. And then after, the voltage V out can be given as V in plus Vm. So, whenever this V in is equal to minus Vm, at that time, the output will be equal to 0. And similarly, whenever the V in is equal to 0, at that time, the output voltage will be equal to Vm. So, during this time, the output will look like this. That means, this portion of the waveform will get DC shifted by a Vm volt. Now, during the next positive half cycle, this diode will still remain reverse biased because the voltage across the diode is equal to V in plus Vm. And as Vin is greater than 0, 
so the voltage at the cathode is more than the anode so this diode will still remain reversed biased and during the positive half cycle the output voltage v out can be given as v in plus vm so due to that during the next positive half cycle you will get this type of waveform that means the entire waveform will get dc shifted by a vm bolt and during the next negative half cycle also this diode will still remain reversed biased so due to that you will get this type of waveform so in a steady state condition if you see the output waveform then it will look like this that means the entire waveform will get shifted upwards by a vm bolt and this is the simulation result of the positive clamper circuit so as you can see after the couple of half cycles the output will reach the steady state condition so here this blue waveform is the input waveform and this green waveform is the output waveform and here as the diode is non ideal so there will be a voltage drop across the diode also and that is why this output is going below this zero volt all right so this is all about the positive clamper circuit and in this circuit just by reversing the direction of the diode it can be converted into the negative clamper circuit so here we will analyze this circuit by considering the square wave as an input wave form so to this circuit if we apply a square wave which is varying from vm to minus vm then at the output we will get this type of wave form that means the entire wave form will get shifted downwards by a vm bolt so let us analyze this circuit and let us see how we will get this type of wave form so during the positive half cycle the input to the circuit is equal to vm bolt and due to that this diode will get forward biased and considering the ideal diode it can be represented as a short circuit and due to that effectively this resistor will also get short circuited so due to that during the positive half cycle this capacitor will get charged through this path and it will get charged to the peak value of voltage vm and during the positive half cycle the output voltage v out will be equal to zero now after that during the negative half cycle the polarity of the input voltage will get reversed and now if you observe the voltage which is appearing across the diode is equal to minus 2 vm that means the summation of these two voltages and due to that this diode will get reversed bias and we can replace it by a open circuit so during the negative half cycle the output voltage v out will be equal to minus vm minus vm that is equal to minus 2 vm so during the negative half cycle the output waveform will look like this now once again during the next positive half cycle this diode will act as a short circuit because now the voltage which is appearing across the diode will be positive because during the previous cycle the capacitor has lost some finite charge and due to that the voltage across the capacitor will be slightly less than vm and due to that the voltage which is appearing across the diode will be positive so during this positive half cycle this diode will act as a short circuit and due to that once again this capacitor will get charged to the peak value of voltage vm and during this cycle the output voltage v out will be equal to zero and once again during the negative half cycle we will get a output voltage v out that is equal to minus 2 vm so if you see the overall output waveform then it will look like this that means the entire input waveform has been dc shifted by a voltage of minus vm now even though this clamper circuit changes the dc level of the input waveform but the peak to peak voltage of the output waveform is same as the input waveform so here if you see the input waveform is varying from vm to minus vm that means the peak to peak voltage of the waveform is equal to 2 vm while at the output the waveform is varying from 0 to minus 2 vm that means here also the peak to peak voltage is equal to 2 vm so in this way using this negative clamper circuit the dc level of the input waveform can be shifted towards the negative side 
Now, as I said earlier, to shift the reference level or the DC level of the waveform, sometimes the biasing voltage is also used with this clamper circuit. So now, let us see the clamper circuit with the biasing voltages. So this circuit, which is shown over here, is the negative clamper circuit with the biasing voltage. So let us analyze this circuit by applying a square wave as an input. So here, this V volt is the applied biasing voltage. And here, we are assuming that this voltage Vm is greater than V volt. So now during the positive half cycle, this diode will act as a short circuit because here this voltage Vm is greater than V volt. So during the positive half cycle, this capacitor will start charging through this path. And if you apply the KVL, then the voltage across this capacitor will be equal to Vm minus V volt. And during this positive half cycle, if you see the output voltage, then it will be equal to V volt. Now, during the negative half cycle, if you see the voltage at the anode of this diode, it will be equal to minus 2Vm plus V volt. That means during this negative half cycle, this diode will act as an open circuit. And during this negative half cycle, the output voltage V out will be equal to minus 2Vm plus V volt. So during the negative half cycle, if you see the output waveform, then it will look like this. So the peak value of the waveform will be equal to minus 2Vm plus V volt. And then after, once again you will get this type of repetitive waveform. So if you see the overall output waveform, then it can be represented by this pink waveform. That means this waveform is varying from V volt to the minus 2Vm plus V volt. Now without this biasing voltage, the output waveform would have been varied from 0 to minus 2 Vm volt. But due to this biasing voltage, the entire waveform has been DC shifted by a V volt. So this circuit which we have discussed is the negative clamper circuit with the biasing voltage. And similarly, we can also design a positive clamper circuit with the biasing voltage. And here for the analysis, we will assume a sine wave as an input. Now here, to easily analyze the circuit, let us take some numbers. So let's say, here the biasing voltage is equal to 3 volt and the input waveform is varying from 10 to minus 10 volt. Now in this circuit, if the biasing voltage is not there, then the output waveform would look like this. That means the output waveform would get DC shifted by a 10 volt. But due to this additional 3 volt, this waveform will get further shifted by a 3 volt and due to that we will get this type of waveform. So let us analyze this circuit and let us find out why we will get this type of waveform. Now during the positive half cycle, whenever the input is 0, that means at this point, this diode will get forward biased and due to that it will act as a short circuit. So when V in is equal to 0, at that time, this capacitor will get charged through this path and it will get charged the voltage of 3 volt. So when V in is equal to 0 at that time, the voltage across the capacitor will be equal to 3 volt. Now after that, whenever V in goes above this 0 volt, at that time, this diode will act as an open circuit. Because if you observe, the voltage at the cathode of the diode is equal to 3 volt while the voltage at the anode of the diode is equal to V in plus 3 volt. And as V in is increasing, so the voltage at the cathode will be more than the anode. And due to that, this diode will get reversed by us. And we can represent it by a open circuit. So whenever this V in plus Vc is greater than 3 volt, or in other words, whenever V in is greater than 0 at that time, the output voltage V out can be given as V in plus 3 volt. And during this time, the output waveform will look like this. That means the output waveform will get DC shifted by a 3 volt. Now, as I said earlier, the voltage at the cathode of the diode is equal to V in plus 3 volt. And during the negative half cycle, 
as this vein becomes more and more negative so this term will be less than 3 volt so due to that during the negative half cycle this diode will get forward bias and we can represent it by a short circuit so during the negative half cycle up to this point the output voltage v out will be equal to 3 volt and during that time this capacitor will get charged to the voltage of v in plus 3 volt and up to this point this capacitor will get charged to the voltage of 3 volt plus 10 volt that is equal to 13 volt so after this point if you see the output waveform then it will look like this now after this point the voltage at the cathode of the diode will be equal to v in plus 13 volt and after this point as v in is going from minus 10 to 0 volt so this term will be greater than 3 volt so after this point this diode will act as a reverse bias and we can represent it by a open circuit so after this point the output voltage v out can be given as v in plus 13 volt so whenever v in is equal to minus 10 volt at that time the output will be equal to 3 volt and when v in is equal to 0 volt at that time the output will be equal to 13 volt so during this time if you see the output waveform then it will look like this that means this portion of the waveform will get DC shifted by a 13 volt now during the next positive half cycle still this diode will remain reversed biased because as i said the voltage at the cathode is equal to v in plus 13 volt and as this v in is positive so the voltage at the cathode will be more than the anode so due to that this diode will still remain reversed biased and during this time the output waveform v out will be equal to v in plus 13 volt so during the positive half cycle if you see the output waveform then it will look like this and then after during the negative half cycle also this diode will still remain reverse biased so during the negative half cycle also this entire waveform will get dc shifted by a 13 volt so in a steady state condition if you see the output waveform then it will look like this that means now the entire waveform has dc shifted by a 13 volt and here is the simulated result for the similar type of clamper circuit so here this blue waveform is the input waveform and the green waveform is the output waveform and as you can see the output waveform looks similar to the waveform which we have drawn during the analysis but here as this diode is non-ideal so there will be a voltage drop across this diode also so in this way by using the biasing voltage with this clamper circuit we can shift the DC level of the waveform to the desired level so I hope in this video you understood the different types of clamper circuits and in the next video we will take few examples based on this clamper as well as the clipper circuit so if you have any question or suggestion do let me know here in the comment section below if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos 